number sentences. Let's say we have a problem to solve, like negative 130 is equal to 24. T is equal to what? Here, negative one-third and T. Negative one-third is the coefficient of T. The relation between negative one-third and T is multiplication. So let's multiply negative one-third and T. Negative one-third times T. Negative one-third times T is equal to negative t over 3. So, let's rewrite, let's rewrite this equation as negative t over 3 is equal to 24. Negative t over 3 is equal to 24. Negative t over 3 is equal to 24. Now let's write 24 as a fraction, which is 24 over 1. Now, we need to get rid of 3. So how do we get rid of 3? Well, we cross multiply. That means we multiply 3 with 24 and t with 1. So, it becomes negative t, because negative t times 1 is equal to negative t, is equal to 24 times 3, which is equal to 72. So, let's rewrite this equation. Let's rewrite it as, Negative t is equal to 72. Now, we got the value of negative t, but we have not got the value of t. So, we need to change negative t to t. How do we change negative t to t? Well, we have to multiply negative t, both negative t and 72, by negative 1, because negative t times negative 1 is equal to t, because negative multiplying with another negative number makes a positive number. So, negative t times negative 1 is equal to t, which is equal to 72 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is equal to negative 72. So, the answer of t is equal to, let's erase the question mark, and put down 70, negative 72. Negative 72. Now, let's move on to the next problem. Let's say we have a problem like k over negative 4 is equal to negative 12. k is equal to what? Now, let's first rewrite this equation right here. K over negative 4 is equal to negative 12. Now, let's put negative 12 as a fraction. It is negative 12 over 1. Now, we need to get rid of negative 4 so that we can get the value of K. So, we cross multiply. That means we multiply k with 1 and negative 4 with 
negative 12. So we get k times 1 is equal to k is equal to negative 4 times negative 12 negative 4 times negative 12 let's put this lower negative 4 times negative 12 is equal to 4 times 12 because the negative multiplies with the negative and makes a positive so it now becomes 4 times 12 which is equal to 48. So k is equal to 48. So for this problem k is equal to let's erase the question mark and put down 48. Today we learned about examples of number sentences. Thank you for watching this video.